Hello and welcome to this Construct 3 tutorial on how to create a minimap in your game. So you can see the finished result here. You've got a map of the world in the background of the game, and you've got a minimap also with a map of the world. And so we'll go and click on the minimap and drag the mouse around. And then you see that uh, we scroll to the correct position uh, in the big map. That's how it works. So let's see how the logic behind it works. So what we have here is only one layout and one event sheet. And the layout consists out of two main layers actually. You can see here three but there's only two which are really important. We've got the map layer and it only contains the, the entire the big map actually. And you've got the minimap layer. And the minimap layer is here, this one, uh, containing this minimap sprite. Now, you might ask yourself, uh, what's so special about having a second layer? Why not put uh, the minimap on the same layer as the map? Well, there's actually a pretty good reason for that, because if you click here on the minimap layer, you can see here in the properties that we've set the scale rate to zero and the parallax is twice set to zero both on the x and the y axis so why is that that means that once we go zooming in and out um, this won't scale along with the zooming so this when we rescale the layout the scaling of this uh, layer will not uh, be affected and also there is no parallax so that means that once the uh, we scroll to the left or to the right that a layer uh, the objects on that layer will not change position to the left or to the right or to up or down because the y axis is also set to 0% here so that's very important and the second important thing to note here is if you double click the minimap and we go to the points uh, section here we've got the origin point and the origin point here is set to the top to the bottom um, to the top left rather Setting that to the top left is pretty important because if we now query the X position of the minimap, we don't have the center, uh, but we have the left side. And if we query the Y position of the minimap, we don't have the center, but we have the top of the minimap. And you'll see in a minute why that is important. So that's pretty much it here for the layout. We go and switch to the event sheet. And in the event sheet we see there's only one single event, an event that says on left button is down. So that's why we go that's when we go scrolling and the scrolling actually takes place here at the left at the last uh, the last action of that event. Scroll two, of course, um, is the system action that takes care of uh, the uh, layout scrolling to a certain position. Um, but because the minimap um, is set to uh, parallax 0, 0, the minimap won't be affected by this scroll to system action. And where do we scroll to? We actually scroll to the width of the layout times a certain factor. And y coordinate is the layout height times another factor. And that factor will be a value between 1, 0 and 1. So if we want to go and scroll all the way to the left, we just we multiply by zero, which means we uh, go to the zero x coordinate. Um, if we go to want to go all the way to the right, we multiply by one, which is the entire layer width, and everything in between will be somewhere between the left and the right hand side. Same thing applies for the y coordinate. Um, when we go to the top, we multiply by zero, dy becomes zero, and we layout help becomes zero or the end result becomes zero of course because we multiply by zero and um, the y when it's one then it's the layout height times one and um, we go to the bottom of the layout so that's how it works but the question now is how do we determine the x and the y the x and the i y by the way those are two local variables so here we set them the local variables um, and let's concentrate on the X because the Y works in exactly the same way, uh, but then vertically. Uh, what we're going to see now is the X, which is the horizontal coordinate to scroll to. Um, and let's look at the um, look at the expression. 
Um, first, we take the x coordinate of the minimap um, by doing no correction. We take the x coordinate of the mouse and we subtract the x coordinate of the minimap from it. And then we divide by the width of the minimap. So, why we do that? So, first we take the x coordinate of the mouse, but you can see here that it's a special variant of mouse.x. We're all used to using mouse.x to get the x coordinate of the mouse, but there's also a version of that expression where you can pass along the name of a layer. Uh, now, why is that? Because once we do minimap dot, uh, mouse dot x, excuse me, that will take into account the parallax and the skill rate. So that means that if we don't do that, it will not take into account. It will take into account if we're zoomed in, it will be a different coordinate than the actual coordinate where we're pointing at and on the minimap. We actually want it to be in the coordinate system of the minimap, of, or the context of that minimap layer. Um, so what the scale rate is set to zero and the parallax is set to zero. That's what we want to do. So that's why we pass along this parameter uh, minimum the name of that uh, layer with those parallax and skill rate settings and then we subtract the subtract the x coordinate and then we divide by the minimum width um, why is that well let's go look at the layout here and if you remember that the x coordinate um, and the y coordinate of a sprite is actually the location of the origin point of that sprite within the entire layout so, the, as you remember, the origin point here was at the top left, which means that, uh, if you remember, let's go look at it again, mouse x minus minimap x. So, mouse x, if we're over here somewhere, let's, now let's start with a very simple example. Suppose our mouse is right here. Let's go look at the mouse coordinates here at the bottom, and let's go look here at the position of that minimap. This is the position of the minimap. You see the, the, the x coordinate is 1334. So once we go with the mouse here and we approach 1334, and there we are. It's very hard because somewhere around there. Yeah. That means that if we go and subtract, subtract the x position of the minimap of, 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 the y, uh, of the x position of the mouse, it will be 0 value will be zero um, because they are the same and if we go about here with the with the mouse we subtract the uh, x position of the minimum from the x position of the mouse which will be about this distance you can see that here um, and you can actually also compare that with, in theory, putting the minimap here at the top left. Because then we are at the left hand side. Actually, the, the x coordinate of the minimap will be 0 and the y coordinate of the minimap will be 0. And we could rewrite this expression as uh, mouse.x instead of mouse.x minus minimap.x. Uh, this minus is only because the minimap is somewhere else than at the top left. So, in essence, what it does, it, it gets us the location of the mouse somewhere within that minimap. So, it says if we're here, th that this should be zero. And if we're here, it is another value, about half of the minimap. This is about the width of the minimap. But remember, we want the x to be a factor, a value between 0 and 1. And the easiest way to do that is just take that uh, that value we subtract here from each other and divide it by the width of the minimap. What we'll get is, if we have 0 and we divide it by the width of the minimap, we get 0 as well. If we, have, if we are about here, then it means that the, subtract, the subtraction is x minus position of the minimap will be about the width of the minimap divided by the width of the minimap becomes 1 and here the x will become 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.75 
So that's how we get uh, the width, uh, the, this factor. And the same thing applies for the dy, which is actually uh, this position minus this position, this position minus this position, and that compared to the entire height of the wave. So that's it. And then you get to the x dy, you multiply it by the layout width and layout height, and you scroll towards it. And that's how you have a minimum. So I hope you learned something. So always please like and subscribe and see you next time.